Yo, so in another video I already showed my level 5 solo character and I'm pretty confident with that character you can play through all the game. Um, it might still not be ideal but I think it's already a pretty easy start if you use split pulling a lot and I personally plan to do that for now. I still don't know enough about the game to be more defensive than my character is right now. It's already pretty good. So just here to show how I created and how I got my first levels. So for the solo I went with a female because you know ladies are good at multitasking. So let's just go with a different portrait here. Um, you know what? Let's take this one. Oh no, she has a bow. Um, we're gonna be pretty much a mage. So let's go with this one. Ah, got it. I'm injured. Tired. Let's rest. Let's go with this one. Diplomat is for mages the best background because you get plus five to law. So we're gonna go with unarmed as our primary. And as I said before, we're gonna go with um thrown weapons and the way we're gonna level our thrown weapons I just stay with what we have for our mail. I think I'm just gonna stick with Raven. <coughs> and the way we're gonna level our thrown weapons is through the trainer. Oops. Through the trainer in the disfavored camp. I already showed that a bit. Because since I only use those for abilities, you don't really level those in combat. And gonna level our law here because it is at the start when you don't really use law for attack skills. Um, it's pretty hard to level. You level it through dialogues and through stuff you find, identify, if you will. And we need sexy law for mirror image. And we're gonna go with the Scarlet Chorus Pass just because we get another damage over time here. I don't even know if you can buy the Fire Core. You can buy all the other cores. I mean, early game. Later on, you probably can buy everything. The year is just gonna skip this. And yeah, I didn't put anything into dodge. Because those kind of skills level really, really quickly. Will do. Dodge and unarmed. Always get these items here first. It doesn't really matter, that but wasn't so hard. you get a bit more XP, and most important. As you get some extra equip for an extra ring. Gonna change these rings out pretty soon, but for the start they're alright. So 
so you now will already see that we have a lot of damage over time potential oh forgot to talk to her always go with the options that give you XP lore go with the third option so you get this and just when the game when you're an early game and you don't have a lot of armor penetration you maybe don't even always have enough accuracy <coughs> to hit guaranteed these damage over time um stacks will do they do a lot of damage compared to Single attacks. So that was pretty quick. And of course, we're impassable damned. And I always. Stack the damage over time on the guy with armor. <coughs> and then just go normal me melee on the other guy. <coughs> Start with the damaging ability. And um, I could normally this doesn't happen, so I could go after him now. But since for some reason she decided to disengage here and attack here, she or he, don't know, we'll have to stay it. here so we don't get disengaged. <laughs> We mainly don't want to get a wound in combat. Getting damage doesn't matter because of levels or dodge. Just want to get some sheep XP out of this guy before he dies. I'm not dead yet. Or she dies. It sounds like a girl. So there we already have the cooldown completed for our next damage over time. So we can basically keep this up all day. Cool down our abilities. Use the next ability. And that's it for him. So in this game where there's no um, mana or magicka, the more of these cooldown abilities you have, the better you are. That's why my party right now sucks quite a bit. Um, Try and catch me, worm. Because I don't really have these extra abilities. I have some spells I could use, but they take up spell slots. <sighs> Fate finder. Here here at last. Care to join me in putting these Are you serious? I came to escort you to ca <sighs> I'm no Well these abilities they don't take any spell slots, so that's what makes them so strong in my opinion. Gonna try and get some damage over time on this guy first before we join worse up there. And 
also hit him with the damaging palm ability. She got wounded, but that doesn't matter for us. We solo. Now we're gonna join her up here. On my command. Uh, seeing an awful. She shouldn't go down, but if she does, Aye. it's not a problem. Let's actually do some damage over time to this guy. Yeah, she went Got down. Dark all of a sudden. So for me it's important that I right click on my character so that I see when I get too close to 25% damage. Oops, that didn't work. On it. So now I'm already pretty close but this guy should be close to death <coughs> soon. Yeah, there we go. He just bled out. Um, I'm still gonna drink a potion here. Just to be safe. That's one of the reasons why in this game leveling health is actually not that bad. Leveling vitality. Because of the wounds. You wanna avoid them at all costs. I'm verse, by the way. Is that a jest? If you want to wander off on your own and die, have it your So the cool thing about the next battle, it's kind of slightly exploited, but of course it's not an exploit, it's all loud and fair. But the funny thing is that you level up during the fight, so if you take a wound, doesn't matter, as long as you get it before you level up. Well, that should be pretty automatic. Oops. Thank you. Learn this because that's also XP. And it doesn't really help us with our skills. Um, we don't get any lower XP for changing spells in the spell creation, sadly. And we just need 90 XP more. So once again I showed this before. Make sure you run here. Because that way you can engage the uh, ranged guys. when you engage those then at least one of them is not gonna range you. Try to push him away and make sure you have auto pause after ability finishes on or you will run after him and disengage. I got it. And this guy is weak to ranged, so I'm gonna use this on him. And also, I have to heal here. And now that he's close to us, we could use our mage fire on him. I should try something else. Mm. 
And we might get a wound now, but as I said, we will level up in a little, so doesn't matter. Too much. Maybe we can avoid the wound. Okay, we avoided it. Wasn't entirely necessary, but it is safer this way. We're still gonna get wounded. <laughs> I think. For the queen. Yeah, we got wounded but got the level up right away, so that's nice. And since it's a solo, I'm just gonna spend my points straight away. So we need both um quickness and this maxed, but since I'm in combat right now I'm gonna go with this because it's a bit more useful while in combat. And we're gonna go with, with one more. As I said before, we're gonna use thrown weapons. So we're gonna go, go with one more damage over time ability, which is a different damage type than we already have. We have fire, we have bleeding, and now we get poisoned on top. And after that, we're gonna go into the mage tree. So now for enemies like him, who are really really weak to ranged, this is very helpful. Will do. And make sure we don't get a wound here. And finish him off. Hopefully, but we didn't hit him. Let's try this. Will do. Oh shit, we're probably gonna get a wound, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Could drink a potion, but I might not need it. Um, the thing is, I can level up after this outside of combat. I'm just gonna make sure since I'm recording. There's plenty of healing potions in game, especially if you're solo. You don't need as many as when you have a party. I feel like I don't have any music right now. It is on, so I don't know what's going on. I hear everything but the music. That's weird. On it. And this, by the way, it is very important that you have at least 32 athletics here because you get a massive XP boost here. You get 54 XP. 
And on the level you are right now on level 2, that's a lot. You sometimes just get something like 8 or 16, but here you get a lot more. I don't know why I don't have any music in the background. I have sound effects. Um, so this is quickness. Gonna take it instead of HP for now. Because resolve is also for law. It's just half a point, but since it this ring gives you plus two, I'm gonna keep it for now. Go up here. I don't even know if I did that. Mm. Have a look here. With my party. Invisibility potion can also be very helpful solo. I haven't needed it yet. But if you really want to get out of a fight. And last time when I had my party I ignored this here. Well, I didn't ignore it, but I didn't realize I had the option to talk to these guys. So I'm gonna gain some favor with the Chorus, leave this guy alive. I went with this favorite on my party, so I'm gonna go with the Chorus here. And we're gonna come back to this map for the merchant because he has the AOE spell. Oh wait, we want those gloves. They are really, really good. As you can see, they're better than the Scarlet Fury ones. And that's it for this map. I'll do another video for what follows. I don't know if I'm gonna do this today or one more with my party. I'm kind of a little bit discouraged with my party at the moment because I, even though I restarted again, I still don't have the right kind of abilities on my main character. Like, what I have right here, three different damage over times, and all two of them are ranged. That's something that really, really helps you, and I don't have it, and spells take spell slots, and yeah, we'll see how that goes, but I really have a lot of fun with solo so far. As I showed in the other video, I'm at level 5 already and now I'm just gonna do the same with this character so we can catch up to that level and see how soloing will work further than the bridge. So, see you then.